one of the really cool things you can do to apply effects in Premiere Pro is use what's called an adjustment layer. Adjustment layers, this is a concept that's common in Photoshop, but it's relatively new to Premiere Pro, only in the most recent version. And this is a way to add an effect to a group of clips all at once. Now, so for example, let's say I wanted to take the combination of these two clips and turn them both black and white. I'm just picking something simple that'll be obvious to when you see it's happened, right? I could take the black and white filter. Let's find that black and white filter. And that's it. We know that that's in the image control setting, right? I could drag that to both filters to, to both clips at the same time so it, I apply the same effect to both. But then if I want to make changes to it, I'd have to make changes in multiple places. Or I could do what's called nesting, where I group these items together and create a nest out of them and apply the effect to that. But that also is complicated and has, has negative ramifications. If I want to just leave them as they are in the timeline, but apply an effect that applies to everything from the, the track video three on down, I can do that by creating a new adjustment layer. So just make sure your project window is active. Go to the file menu and choose new adjustment layer. And it's just going to appear like a regular clip. Now it's going to ask you the height and width. And this is relevant. But you pretty much want to make sure this matches the other clips in your sequence. Say OK. And here's my little adjustment layer. And now I'm going to drag that adjustment layer into my timeline. And let's make it long enough so that it covers both of those clips. And now I'm going to apply the effect to the adjustment layer. Now the adjustment layer itself has no effect. You can't see it. It doesn't do anything. But when I go to my effects and I drag that black and white to the adjustment layer, what that does is it applies that effect to anything below it, to any clip that's below it on the timeline. And that's really powerful because that allows you to apply effects to a group of things all beneath that clip. So you can do a split screen or if you have titles or multiple elements on screen at the same time and you want to have some effect that affects all of them, you can do that using this adjustment layer. And the adjustment layer can also use opacity. So if I lower the opacity of the adjustment layer, it's limiting the amount of the effect, right? So now it's it works just like a clip, but it uses that effect. So now I've got that uh, desaturate effect by putting the black and white on and then lowering the opacity of the adjustment layer. And because the adjustment layer is essentially just like a clip, I can move it. And so I can position it if I want to have the adjustment layer only affect part of my clip. It really opens up some amazing possibilities, some cool things you can do using these adjustment layers. And you can use as many of them as you want, and each one could have its own effect. So you can really have a lot of fun with those. Definitely worth experimenting with.